Oh yeah, I'm live, baby. We need some light, huh? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist from the studio. Let's bring some light into the equation. Some sort of light right there. There we go. It feels just about right, right the window. So I'm here in the art studio. Peace. Um, getting ready to do some artwork. We get some papers out. Make some paper. I need some paper, yeah. I need some paper now. Make some paper. Paper now. Hey, hold on, guys. Okay, here I come. Here I come. Here I come. Here goes the skin of my own. It's on paper now. I know that some of you are like, dude, what's up with this loco? This guy is muy loco. If you think I'm loco, I think that you're right. It's on paper. My life. It's on paper. In my life. I think we need some more uh, some more of this blue paper. This blue tape. Let me go get some blue tape. If it falls, it's gonna be someone's fault that's watching this. It's not gonna be mine. <laughs> Hang in there, little paper. This only measures 30 by 40 inches. I say only because it sounds cool. When you say when you use only. You really don't mean it. There, let's put some, let's put some blue tape right there. Oh my God, it's taking so long. Should have been prepared prior to doing this. Should have cooked wood. But I want to show you guys the process because some of you guys want to know the process. Some of you guys are like, how do you take that thing? <laughs> By the way, this board is an MDF board. It's perfect. It's called MDF. It's perfect. Uh, you can buy it at any hardware store. Uh, but at one of those big hardware stores like Home Depot or Lowe's, if you're in the States. If you're in another country, I don't know. Figure out if it's Home Depot or Lowe's or if it's uh, some other awesome store. So what? I think they're all over the world. I love going there because, uh, especially when you're playing like with with bigger stuff. Oh man, this is a perfect sign of perfectionism, guys. Don't do this, okay? I'm being too much of a perfectionist now. I'm like trying to make sure that this is like tight, like if it was gonna stay there forever, and it's not. All right. If you guys got any questions. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Glamour. Love that. Love the new studio. Sit, sit, sit here. Sit, sit, sit here. All right, guys. So I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a little treat for you guys. I'm going to do an abstract painting on this beautiful, beautiful uh, board. Paper. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. So here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I got the right colors. I keep using the same colors. You know why, guys? Because you got to do that. The world is your oyster. It's all left to your imagination. You got to do it like Donnie Darko. I'm not afraid anymore. Like that kid? I love that kid. That kid's goals. He sure wasn't afraid of life anymore. Unfortunately, I still get afraid of a lot of stuff. All right, let's do this. Let's get some black paint. I'm going to start with black because it just makes sense to me. To start with black. 
thing. I get my special little thing right here. Thingamabobby. Whatever this is. And I'm going to be like, hey there, little friend. Take a ride to the wild side. Okay? If this stays abstract, uh, that's the whole goal, right? If this stays abstract and not formulaic, we've done our dealio. But you have to be a little bit brave, okay? You have to be willing to shit uh, <laughs> some work, right? To be like, yeah, this is going, this is going to shit. It's not going to work. It's okay. It's okay. You have to be willing to do that. If you can't do that, I've done that thousands of times. Uh, some people are afraid of, of like, I don't know, like uh, messing up stuff, like. Materials and stuff. If you're afraid of messing up materials, uh, maybe maybe you shouldn't try painting. Maybe you should try something else. I don't know. Uh, accounting or some other stuff. I don't know. Uh, painting, I think, just like in life in general, it's all about it's all about just kind of letting go. And really, it's just all about letting go. And, and certain little things are going to start making sense. Some, some stuff doesn't make sense in the beginning. But that's the trust part. You know? It's, it's a trust thing. Sort of like when you go into a... You get in an Uber. You know? And the driver looks like... Like all like... Strange stuff. You know? Like... like you don't know the person, right? It's a strange person. You don't know the person. It's a trust thing. You got to trust that the person's going to drive you to your destination. It's a trust thing. An Uber or Lyft or whatever. The whole game is trust. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know some people are like, no, I can do that. To you I say, do it. But if you just think that you can do that and you don't do it, then just watch and learn. Because I am doing it. All right? Here we go. This is my job. As I mentioned before, I think God loves me. <laughs> God and I have a special... We're, we're bros. We're bros. I can just say that. We're bros. We're brewskis. We're homies. God is my homie. <laughs> How can you do this kind of shit for a living? No? It's it's just it's It's a dream come true. <laughs> what I like best about, about painting uh it's not getting any paint on me. I love not getting any paint on me. That's like the That's like the best part of painting. Again, pa painting is, is one of those things that if you start thinking, you ain't going to do it. You know, I heard, uh, I heard, uh, who was it? Michael Jackson. Yeah, I think I've said this before. Michael Jackson. Ignorant. You guys are ignorant. I heard Michael Jackson say that, I think he was talking to Oprah about it. He was saying that, that uh, dancing, you can't really think about it, you know? Because if you think about it, like, you won't do it. It's just like painting. You can't really think about it. If you think about it, you, you sort of lose the magic. It's a child's play. Being an artist is being like a child. You gotta, you gotta be cool with, with not really, you know? You just gotta be cool. You gotta be cool. Matisse said... Matisse, the great Henri Matisse, said uh, creativity takes courage. 
Please correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know if my teeth said that. I think I'm just making it up. No, I'm just joking. One of those cats said that. And you know what? The reason why is because it does. A dog's like being on a hunt for, for a lady dog. <laughs> Matisse, uh, I think the reason Matisse said that is because uh, every time that you paint, whether it's a blank canvas, some people seem to talk about it as a blank canvas, and I, and I completely understand, because a blank canvas, really, it's a lot, there's a lot of thinking. There's a lot of thinking, right? Yeah, thinking goes like that. There's a lot of thinking. So in, in the thinking process, you can't really do ish. You can't do anything. You know, the thinking process uh, holds you hostage. In other words, it doesn't allow you to move anywhere. This is why I highly recommend... Uh, watching children create artwork. Please make sure it's your children, otherwise it's going to look super creepy. Watch children do artwork. You know? Uh, because ch children are, are young masters. They're young masters of art. They just, they, 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 they don't have the identification of knowing and not knowing. That doesn't exist in their heads. To them, they're like they're like a I don't know. They're like the Vinci. They're like, yeah, I get that, you know. And if I see someone paint uh, like like realism or something or or like some. Whatever, like if they see a, a, an artist create something that you could tell that has a lot of skill, they don't get impressed by it. I don't know if you've ever seen that. They, they don't get impressed by it. They don't get impressed by it. The reason why they don't care, they get impressed by it is because they give two shits about skill, right? Children don't, don't care about skill as... as as a, a, a mature artist shouldn't care about skill either. Because skill is something that you can acquire. Right? Uh, it's almost bought, if you like to. If you, if you like. Skill is something that's almost bought. It's bought with, with sweat equity, right? You practice, you practice, you practice, you practice. You get, you have to get good at something. Otherwise, you're you, you, you're a shitty artist, right? <laughs> you have to naturally get good at it. That's why when artists say, "I'm really good at it," I'm like, "Oh yeah, that's great." Like, so, like, I mean, it would be pretty shitty of you to not be good at it after 20 years, right? Yeah, I, I, like I don't get impressed when people are like, "Oh my God, that looks so great." Well, it better look great after 20 years of painting. You know, uh, when I see when I see children create art, they don't they don't they don't care. You know, they're just they're so true. They're so true to to what they're doing that they don't they don't really care. They don't care about you know something being right, something being wrong. They're just to them it's just creation. It's not it doesn't mean anything. I think that's part of the beauty. Personally, I think that's part of the beauty of children. There is no judgment. There's no. There's no. They, they see someone paint realism, and they're like, "Oh yeah, I'm good." Yeah. Uh, they see someone with a lot of skill in abstraction, and they're like, "Here, give me that." They take away the pencil, and then they start doing it because there is no sense of that is good, that is bad. There is no sense of that. There is no sense of that. And this is the practice. I wish I was as good as a child. But this is the practice of painting as a child.
as a very young child, right? The older ones start getting ego in their head and they want to start mimicking other stuff. Now, the very little ones, look at, look at Andra, the very, the very little ones are so in it that it's just unbelievable. It's so unbelievable to see them. This is why the great JC, Jesus Christ, said, uh, be as a child. This is why, because because it's the most um, it's the most pure state of being, right? It's it's a it's a state. It's a state. It's not. It's it, it, it's it's just a state of being. It's a non-judgmental state of being. There is no recognition of of ideas uh, that are made by human beings. There is there is none of that. There is just there is just a child. And there's just a thing. The, the thing has no name yet. If, if I want to be like, oh my God, I have to do the best abstract painting. <laughs> then, 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 uh, then that's a thing, right? But if I just go, oh, okay, well, I'm just going gonna, gonna to go play. Even though I get paid for this shit. <laughs> but if I go, I'm, I'm going to go play. I'm going to go play. Don't get me wrong. It's hard work, right? Because I'm here all day. I'm here for hours and hours. But if, but if I tell myself, I'm going to go play. Uh, by the way, working for me, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a, a, a bad thing. I, I love it. Uh, some people say I, I, would, I would love it too if I painted for a living. Uh, but I don't know. The, the truth is that I learned to love it. I used to hate it. I used to hate painting for a living. You see? You don't understand. Maybe you don't. Maybe you do. I don't know. When, when I when I got paid the first times to paint for a living, I was beyond happy. Right? When I actually started getting paid full time to paint, oh my God, I wouldn't sleep for days. Right? I'd be like, oh, wow. And then all I did was show up to work. That's when the happiness turned into hell. And then I have to find my way out again. And the way I found my way out is by hitting that fucking potential. Like something bigger than me. It was the only way to show up. Because I couldn't, I couldn't continue to show up just to, just to work. Someone told me the other day, I don't like it. I don't like it that you, that you curse in your videos. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. Just the way that I am, okay. Uh, so it was one of those things, you know, that, that I was like, in order to show up, to constantly show up, I have to really, really go beyond. You have to stop being selfish. I know it's a hard concept sometimes. You gotta stop being selfish. You know, if you're if you're a chef. Let's say that you're a chef. I don't know. Uh, you gotta stop thinking about what you like to eat. You gotta start think. You got. You gotta come from a place of service. And service can only can only be given if you're looking for your highest potential, your potential. If you're looking for for your, I, I'm, see when I when I show up to the studio, I'm not looking to see what I can paint and how to please myself and how to make myself happy. I know some people get confused by this, but I, I'm not trying to be happy. When I show up to the studio, I am trying to show up to my potential so that I can come from a place of service and give as much to the world as possible. My mother, before she passed away, she told me, she told me, don't forget this. And I forgot it, but I found it again. She told me, you are worthless if you are not in service. In anything you do. The, your worth will only come from service to others. She wasn't talking about monetary value. She was talking about self. 
Self-worth. Your self-worth will only come from service. And I believe that. I believe that to the bone. The only times I get paid for this is when I'm not thinking about myself. I'm not trying to please myself. I'm not saying that I'm a sellout. That's not what I'm saying either because some people have gotten confused about that. They're like, no, I want to pay what I want to pay. I'm not saying that I'm painting something that someone wants. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that is that whatever I'm doing, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm thinking, I'm thinking outside of me, not just me. I want to make sure that the painting is done. Now, it just looks great to me, but the painting is done. But the painting can, 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 can go serve the world. If I look to see if the painting can serve me, I'm done as an artist. I'm not a very good artist if I'm just looking to please myself. It's a selfish point. It's a selfish place. I, 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 don't think, I don't think people can be very good artists if all they're looking for is how to please themselves. I know there's a lot of artists out there who are like, who are like, how can I, how can I please myself? I know because I was one, one too. The moment that I went outside of just trying to please myself and going to service is when I started really not just enjoying, because it's not about just enjoying, it's when I really start understanding what my job was as an artist. It's sort of like if a cop figures out that his job is not to enforce the law, but to help the citizens, sort of something like that. But enforcing the law might be part of the job, just like, you know, just like many other jobs, like, it might be part of the job, but that's not really the job. The job is the service of, of to be in service of the citizens. See, it's not until you figure out that service is really the holy grail. For me anyways, right? I can't say that for everybody. For me, service is the holy grail of human existence. And it's found through work. It's found through work. Men, men meaning all, all, all humans. That's what I mean by men. By the misogynistic rules of... <laughs> uh, men are, 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 are born to work. That's just my belief, okay? This is not, this is not, in no way, this is not gospel. <laughs> men are born to work. M men's purpose comes from work. Whatever it is. Imagine going to a doctor that doesn't want to be there. Imagine that. Just imagine that for a second. Imagine going to a doctor that's like, oh, fuck, man, here comes this person. I guess I'll save their life. <laughs> <laughs> every career should be vocational. As a matter of fact, every career is vocational. It's just that many of us don't don't understand that. We don't. We can't grasp it. We can't pull the damn fucking thing. Ugh. Every career is vocational. Doesn't matter what you do. You build houses. You sell them. You decorate them. It is all in the service of our fellow human beings. This is why I believe so much in my work and why I don't stop shouting about it. Because I know that the world is, me is much better off with my work. And these are not just empty words. This is not me trying to make sense of my work. This, this is what I believe. The world is much better off with my work. The, the world is much better off with your work. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that it's just mine, 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 me, 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 me. No, but I recognize that. Right? I recognize that about me. Some artists have great stuff to share to the world and they don't recognize that about themselves. And they spend all the time trying to figure out how to, how to uh, 
please themselves rather than going and, and stop pleasing yourself and share the work. Go outside of yourself. Pleasing yourself is easy. It's a very simple thing to do. All you got to do is just introvert, you know? And I don't mean introvert as, as a personality, but I'm, I'm talking about like, oh yeah, let's just, just go inside, you know? Stop, stop caring about anything else. Just, just care about yourself. This is not to simplify life, okay? There's those moments and those times in your life, of course, that you should just care about yourself because some people just can't stop caring about uh, other people, but in a different way, in a more, in a, in a, I need to be complete, right? I need to be complete. I need to care about everyone else's gossip or everyone else's problems in order for me to be complete. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about work itself. Man, I'm good. Look at that. Freaking amazing. I'm freaking amazing. Air guitar and stuff. But that is that is the thing. That's the beauty. You know, that's the that's the whole I think that's the whole beauty of it. The whole beauty is that Is that it's not about you. You don't believe me? Think about it this way. Who are the best parents? Selfless, right? Selfless. That's the best parent. Who's the worst parent? A negligent parent. <laughs> don't take it personal. <laughs> I feel like I've been in both ends of the candle. <laughs> Is that even a saying, or did I just make that up? Both ends of the candle. I think I made that up. I have a tendency to make shit up like that. Feels right, so I just say it. Oh, yeah. Some of that exposed just for fun. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Right there. Yeah, it's like heroes, no? Heroes are selfless. That's why we love heroes. They're selfless. They don't care about them. They care about the, the well-being of the whole, right? Nice. They're, they're in service. Heroes are in service. Beauty of heroes. What is the beauty of superheroes? They only have one weakness, and their weakness is their love for humans, right? Their 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 love for others. That's what always gets them in trouble. I think in real life, it's not trouble that you get in. I think what happens is that you, that's, that's where the challenges come in, right? Because you, you have to stop caring about you. So. 
So if you stop caring about you, then, then you start facing some real challenges. Look at that. Love this. Every step of the way. Okay, it's time to break this other blue that I've been craving again. This is a little bit more meticulous than the other ones, guys. Okay, this is a little bit more, more, more je ne sais quoi. This has a little bit more love. Look at that. I think this baby's about right. And the cool thing about this little piece, I like it because there's tension. You know, there's, there's tension happening. I've been, I've been into that lately. It's a little bit of tension happening. It's good, you know? It's good. It's good. I, I don't just like creating pieces that just rest. I like, I like creating pieces that have, have some energy in them, that there's tension happening. It's good. Some people need that. I know that a lot of people are like, oh my God, I want to be able to rest and look at it. Ah. But some people need that. Some people need to wake up. You know, some people need the energy. Like when they see a piece, they're like, oh my God, I know I have to get to work. This <laughs> <laughs> sign right here. Right here. Oh no, right here is where it's going to say, world's greatest living artist. Put your pain out. There you guys have it. Look at that. Muy bueno. Very good. Man, I'm good. All right, guys. Take care. I will talk to you guys soon again. All right. Adios.